discussion, which we are now, on uh, what we thought about that other night and, and what we feel as a council where we need to go from here. And I will share with, with you something that I received today that might answer some of those questions you already have. And they answered some of mine. Melanie Myers from the FAA, which is program director, um, had called me today and I asked her some questions. One of the questions I asked her was, if we were to stop this thing now, or if we stopped it five years from now, what money would be owed back to the FAA? She told me as long as the airport did not close, there would be no money have to be paid back to the FAA whatsoever. Okay? In regard to the FAA compliance regulations, I asked her about that. I said, so what is going to be the city of Greensburg or BOAC's responsibilities to keep compliant if we do stop the project? She said what they go by is the size of aircraft that flies into your airport. That's what they want you to be compliant with. The majority of your aircraft, if it's smaller aircraft and you have a big enough airport, then they want you to stay compliant with that. She said if it's bigger, obviously, they're going to want you to add 20 feet to the width or 100 feet length or whatever. I said, okay, 